I'm in a swivel chair and I feel so fancy because I have a swivel chair and Gourmet's right behind me pointing with the wrong fingers but it doesn't matter because I'm being awkward don't go to black screen there we go <laughs> It's Sunday! Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, as you can tell by my once again different background, I am in a new location. Uh, this time I'm at my mom's house, which uh, we just had Easter dinner, and it kind of looks like that right now. Uh, you probably can't see it, but the blackboard uh, is all, like, all the menu all the menu stuff but uh, first order of business is the intro um, I know that some of you liked it I mean some of you haven't commented on it uh, quite yet um, but you know no hurry on it uh, we're <laughs> probably gonna be doing this for a while so I'm not I'm not gonna be on top for you guys about you know how you feel about the intro right away uh, but okay moving on um, Got a lot of stuff to get to. I got a lot of notes. This is all the notes. And there's that as well for James. Um, so here we go. Gins, um, if you watching videos at two for two years now, uh, you have not been watching enough, then I'm screwed because I've only been watching for eight months. I mean, I've been on YouTube for four and a half years, but I only got into the community uh, as a whole, a couple of months ago, um, and Danielle, hey, welcome to the Buzzed Club, <laughs> love that you admitted that you were a few beers in, and that you didn't want to, uh, you didn't want to, <laughs> to take that Myers-Briggs test, and, uh, I just, <laughs> um, I just wanted to say, you know, and with the exception of, of uh, Craig, I mean, we're all over 21. I mean, uh, the Vlog Brothers had this problem where they they all thought, oh "My God, sorry." Um, I don't know if you can hear this, but uh, my sister's cat is in heat at the moment. But back to Danielle, the movie system. Um, movie system that you guys had was was pretty cool um and Lucy you talked about a movie system too and how you always ended up on the on the wrong side of it because it was a purely democratic system um I I was the victim of that same thing I had two half sisters who visited us um who visit us regularly uh they lived with us for the latter part of my school years but uh, for the most part, it was they would visit in the summer. They would visit for like a month or so at a time. Um, but I was the lone guy living with three women at the same time um, for for most of my life. Uh, so I never got to choose. <laughs> it was always, hey, what do you want to listen to in the radio? Three people said Spice Girls, and I said Hanson. So, you know, it was, it was I would always always lose it was not fair it was really not fair and, <laughs> and Rima <laughs> yeah the the school mascot the tides was uh, pretty bad <laughs> I've actually seen that before for a few people I mean the whole point is that you want to pick a a name of something that you would always fear I mean with the I think it was the beavers or the badgers, I forget, for, for Lucy's. Um, I mean, they're just never scary. It's like the Arizona Cardinals. You're not afraid of the Cardinals. Um, but Falcons, which was my high school's, and then when we went to uh, UML, it was the Riverhawks. Um, it was it was that you feared those because, you know, Hawks and Falcons are pretty, pretty scary. Um... 
But yeah, the tides was like, yeah, watch out, we'll destroy you unless unless you happen to come by while it's low tide, and then we'll we'll lap at your feet. <laughs> I can't, you can't see it, but I was doing this hand gesture. <laughs> um, and also, uh, you mentioned the land before time when you talked about the different characters in the land before time. Um, and I gotta say, I loved the land before time. I've only ever seen one of them, um, because that was the only one I was ever interested in. And it was the one where, you know, little, uh, little foot and everybody gets separated from their, from their father, or from their parents, I should say. And they have to, they have to find a way around to get back to them. And that's where everybody meets for the first time. So I think it's the first one, but to me, it was just. Like, it was so cool. It was so so cool, and it was the characters were awesome. It was like it was a lot like Bambi, um, in a lot of ways to me, because uh, it had those four characters that you could relate to all of them, um, and it made you love them so much. Um, Lucy and Craig too. Uh, you guys have both uh, both mentioned Dexter's lab in the one episode that you guys remember. Same way here. <laughs> and also, the punishment, Lucy, uh, I'll, I'll officially announce here um, that there will be a punishment for me if the Wallabies lose, and there will be a punishment for you when the All Blacks lose. <laughs> um, I don't even think we need to create a punishment for me, because it's just not possible. I mean, we have the faster team. You do realize that, right? We have the faster, stronger team. We play a really good game, and our defense is only getting stronger. <laughs> and by the way, uh, I forget who mentioned Brave Little Toaster. Um, and I'm just going to say it here. Uh, Brave Little Toaster was, was my favorite kids movie growing up. Um, and it was my sister's favorite kids movie growing up. God. I can't. It's no longer a kid. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you have to hear that. You have to be able to hear that. That, those noises are not holy. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and the censoring as a kid, getting back to the story, um, uh, that's, <laughs> censoring as a kid, I, I had a smaller version of that when I was growing up. Uh, my mom was... My mom didn't really censor me all, all that much. I mean, it was just some of the basics, like no R films. But uh, my dad, when I was about seven or eight years old, uh, had me watch Shawshank Redemption because he said it would teach me a lot about growing up. And uh, and it did. And it's to this day my favorite film of all time. So uh, I have to thank him for that. Uh, I think that part of what Craig said about how um, we just want entertainment as kids is true, but also having us learn about some of that stuff that, that more serious films can teach uh, really helps us grow as people, especially in those, those very impressionable years. Moving on to Craig. Uh, Craig, I kind of agree about the Myers-Briggs test. I mean, I, I like the results because the results are somewhat accurate, but um, I have to admit that I hate yes or no questions on quizzes. Because it's just, it's not conductive to what people are. So if there's another one that has to do with, um, another one that has, you know, that, like, that five-point scale, uh, that would make things a lot easier. Um, and the schedule thing, I agree with you on, 100%, two weeks of talking and, and one week of, uh, one week of a theme. So, uh, this will be, like, the first week. If we all agree. If we don't all agree, then we won't do this. <laughs> I love I love your response to when the person asked you why you were recording. And uh, you just said, because I can. <laughs> it was the most offensive response ever. Oh, I missed a chance to... Oh, Holly. One second, I'm going to get some fidget gray, kitty. That's great, kitty. Not a smart move. Oh, um, that's Holly. 
Right there. Take a look. It's you. It's you. Such a fan. This is the most disjointed video. I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> um, uh, James, it sucks to see that you're sick. I hope you feel better soon. Um, the car playlist. Uh, let me bring that up on my phone right now. Um, Alright, so we have two songs by Charlie McDonnell. Uh, we have uh, the... Oh, we have two songs from the open door. We have uh, A Diamond and a Tether and Talking Bird by Death Cab for Cutie. We also have Dirty Heads featuring Sublime. Uh, we have Foo Fighters, Joshua Radin, Lauren O'Connell, Missy Higgins. Uh, Motion City Soundtrack, that's LG uh, Foo Ad. And uh, we have Oliver Boyd and the Remembrals. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, the Mountain Goats, Love, Love, Love. One of uh, John has said that's actually his favorite song, and it is mine as well. Um, a song by the Reliant K, a British band that I heard on a uh, TV show called The Cleaner, uh, called, uh, oh, what's it called? It's called Insecurity. It's by Scars on 45. Um, I have the Soggy Bottom Boys from the movie Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, Sandre Lerke from uh, Dan in Real Life. Taking Back Sunday is also on here. Um, Bare Naked Ladies is on here. I got a bunch of a bunch of stuff because I needed stuff that would would be spread out enough so that I could last a week with it. <laughs> and uh, I'm getting that radio on Tuesday, and hopefully I can get it uh, installed on Tuesday. God, like my shirt. It's it's John Lennon. Power to the people. Okay, I saw that. Uh, I understand why you picked the All Blacks, uh, and believe me, I'm not going to fault anybody for, for what they pick. I have friends who are Yankees fans, I have friends who are Canadiens fans, go Boston Bruins, woo! Um, <laughs> I, you know, I could honestly care less, and I, you know, go either way, uh, I just, I just know that the Wallabies will win, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> alright, but I'm going to go. Um, it's been fun seeing everybody's videos. I love you guys. I will see all your videos this week. Um, and just as a precursor, um, I'm vlogging on Easter. If there's a holiday or a birthday that your um, that your vlog day falls on, you do not have to do it. You can at any time invoke that right to not do a video. Um, at you know we won't punish you for it. We won't get on you for it. Uh, it's, no big deal at all. So uh, let me know, and <laughs> and I will uh, see Jins tomorrow.